Good morning. I have a couple of things to go over. Um, some packages that I got yesterday. Okay, so we'll go through what I ordered from Amazon in a second. But I want to go over this little package I got and what I'm doing with it. So I was trying to figure out who sent this because the name on the box wasn't a name that I recognized and then I figured out that it has to be D. So thank you, D. Okay, so this is what D got me. Oh, okay, good. I hope my ones. There it is. So I try to do crocheting at night and it's really dark um, in my room. So I thought, you know, oh, you know, Wanda always talks about, well, on Wanda and a lot of the ladies talk about these lighted crochet hooks. And so I had mentioned that, you know, I would love to try those because it would help me see, you know, the stitches better. And because my room's a little darker, it might help. So my sweet friend D sent me a pack of them. I love these things. So these ones range from a size... 2.5 to 6.5. Another thing I love about these is the, the usual, the hooks that I usually use are um, the metal type hooks and for some reason the yarn kind of goes like this, you know, across the hook instead of, you know, sliding off like it should. But besides the hooks, that's not all Dee has sent me. She sent me a four pack of ice yarn. Never tried ice yarn. Now I know why everybody likes it so much. Even though it's 100% acrylic, it is so soft and it, it's so much easier on your hands than I've been um, using, I think it's called Red Heart Super Saver. And after a while, I've noticed that my fingers crack. I don't know if it's because I have sensitive skin or the health issues that I have, but it makes my fingers crack and after a while it hurts. So this is the actual color that it is. And I looked online for this color and right now they're out of stock. I need to order more because I started making my own cardigan last night and I've never, this is it, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> I've never made anything besides hats, scarves, and shawls, and I wanted to get into doing something else. So I found a pattern on how to crochet um, a cardigan. I started off with the pattern that um, I found on this channel, but then I switched and did my own thing because I just I didn't like the way that I was doing what the tutorial was. So. But first I wanted to show you how cool these hooks are. Okay, so there's like a little tab that you pull and then you just turn it on. Isn't that cool? My mom called it, my mom and Billy called it a lightsaber last night. It was funny because I FaceTimed my mom to show my mom. So let me make sure I don't get my project all messed up here. So see, it's super easy for me. Let me pull this up here. It's super easy for me to just, and then you see, see how you can see that you have both of them. It's super nice. I don't know why I'm saying super a lot today, but it is, it's so nice. So thank you, D. I absolutely love it. So this is what I'm working on. I guess I can point the camera down for a second so you guys can see it. Get it all. It's funny how things like crinkle up when you're working on them. Okay, so I'll put the camera down. This is what I'm working on. These are supposed to be hearts. 
but they didn't come out that way. So that's the reason why I'm not finishing it the way that the pattern was because you're supposed to have these hearts all over it. So I figured, forget it. So this is basically the bottom part of um, the cardigan and then the rest will be just a regular weave. I was going with doing a double crochet, but it's making it, it look like it's giving it too much. Um, space. So I think I'm going to do this last line with the double crochet and then I'm going to go back in with the single crochet. Let's show you up close. See those don't exactly look like hearts, but that's supposed to be a heart. So that's okay. It'll just be, you know, like I said, the bottom of the cardigan. And I'm hoping I can go back to just doing a double crochet that I haven't messed this up too much because like I said it see how it gave it more room and I don't really want that but I like how the bottom is supposed to go like this I like how that bottom is supposed to go I think that turned out really nice but I'll see if I can fix it, like I said, by just going to a single crochet. If I can't and tighten this up a little that way, then I'll just pull this out and just continue doing what the pattern was without the hearts because I didn't, like this one kind of looked like a heart, but I didn't do that great. These kind of look like flowers, so whatever, but I don't think four is going to be enough, so I'm going to go ahead and order some more so I can finish that. Okay. So I have those in the hooks. Thank you so much, Dee. Oh, I just... I love all my friends so much. You guys are so good to me. This was such a, such a sweet thing you said to me. I love them. Now I can crochet in the dark. Okay, so the next thing I got, I'm going to have to have a sip of coffee real quick. Don't you just love coffee mugs? I love anything winter and coffee mugs, I, even in the summertime. They're my favorites. Okay, so... This is the idea that I had. I watched a creator, and I think I talked about this yesterday. I can never remember what I talked about, so um, you guys, please just bear with me because I'm not going to keep um, going on about how I ramble on, but I do, and I don't remember you know, everything that I've told you guys. So anyway, I do think that I brought this up yesterday. Yes, I did. I actually did. Where I saw, you know, one of the um, artists that I watch, she uses this easel that's adjustable. And on that, she has a Lazy Susan so she can spin her work around without, like how I was doing yesterday, how I constantly had to pick up, you know, and work on my the edges of my painting. And then you get, you know, your fingerprints on it and stuff. Anyway, so what I did was I bought an easel. This easel is supposed to come with a palette. So what I was thinking about doing, I also bought a Lazy Susan. So what I'm thinking that I'm going to do is I'm going to somehow, maybe with tape attached, until I know that I have it right or that it works. Scissors. I'm going to attach the Lazy Susan to the easel and see if this works. And kind of make the same thing that I saw her have, and I'm almost positive it was Donna Dewberry. I really like her. I doubt I'm not really into the one stroke painting, but I don't know, I just find she's very soothing in the way she talks, and I like that. 
unlike me, and I can't stand my voice. I can't stand it. Okay, so we'll see if this is going to be what I think in my head. Okay, so this is a 10 inch one and I'm pretty sure this easel is 14 since I made a mistake with the show Soji screen. I'm trying to be a little bit more careful about measurements. So far, this is not being a very lazy, lazy Susan. Okay, there we go. It is this side. My purse has got stuff on it, but it doesn't matter. Okay, doesn't matter. Another sip of coffee. Okay. So hopefully this will come out the way that I want it. Okay, so, so far, this is how it looks. Very nice. I've had one of these before. They are actually really nice. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to put this down. So there was a little thing on the side right here. Like I said, I've had one of these before, but not as nice as this one. They're just like little portable ones. So if you want to like go to the beach or something, you've got your little easel. Not just the one, well, you know, if you want to go paint outside. So it's got the drawer where you can put your paints and your paint brushes but it's nice that it has that little closure which okay now mine's not working okay there it goes okay so this is my thought on this what I want is to somehow Adhere it to this and to this and have it be able to, why isn't this spinning? Watch this not work out the way that I want to and I'm going to be completely bummed. Bit more. Let's see how it does that. So I'm going to somehow adhere this together and then that way. Let's show you a painting or something. I am cleaning my little craft area today because this is just driving. Oh, see? Yes! Exactly what I needed. exactly what I wanted so that way when I'm working on a painting I can just spin it around so I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that yay I'm so excited so that way I'm hoping that when I have the camera up maybe I can point it well now I'll point it to where I'll show you 
I can bring this out so it's more overhead. And I could put this here, point this down a little more, add this on here. And be able to put that back in. spin my paintings around. Totally excited. It's gonna work. Yay! I looked all online for something like this because it almost looked like that's how she had it, but she had it like on a standing easel without the box. But this is perfect. It's gonna work. I just have to fix it. Anyway, cleaning back up. I'm pushing you guys away. <laughs> See, I'm so close. <gasps> Sorry for the shaky camera. Okay, so let me see what's there. Oh, let's check the apple and the painting that I did yesterday and see how the resin's going. So, sorry, pointing back down. So the apple is right here. I ended up putting this glass jar over it because I had the um, cigar box over it. I knocked it over like a moron and it went everywhere. Like you can see, well, no, you can't see a piece right here, but I'll show you. This is how I get um, resin and stuff off the table. I have a little piece of resin here that I'm going to pop right off. Just like that. And that was a little resin bead. Actually, you know what? That would look really good. And, um... Painting or something. Look at how shiny that is. That is so shiny. Watch me. Probably can't see it because it's too dark, but that's so shiny. Doesn't mean that I'm going to drop a bunch of these all over the table and scrape them up, but that's actually really cool. That gives me a thought. Maybe I could drop some like different colors on parchment paper and then make something out of them. I'm going to look into that. Anyway, moving mm -hmm. on. Let's check this out. It might not be cured only because this apple is very thick. Oh no, it feels like it is. Am I gonna be able to get it out of here? I've never worked on molds before. Now I don't know how to get it out. Oh no, I hope I didn't wreck this thing. Okay, there we go. I guess you just have to pull it away from the sides. Oh. I have to put my glasses on. Maybe if I get...
It's going to be so pretty if I could just pop this off. Uh-oh. I don't think it's completely done yet. Oh, there's, I guess I could put it in my brace and kind of... Hold it to one side. I'm hoping if I could just pop it out. There we go. Get out! <laughs> Get the stem stuck. Okay, hang on. Let's. Stem out. I think you're supposed to put oil down even on these silicone ones. Probably would have been a lot easier. It's coming out. Oh my gosh, that is super cute. Look at how cute that is. There's not really much I have to do with it. That is so cute. I am going to paint the stem and the... I'll show you guys when I move the camera because it'll be a lot brighter. That's super cute. Okay, let me move. Stuff okay, so pointing the camera back up. <clears throat> Excuse me, look, isn't that super cute? It turned out really cute. I wish that the rest of it was as shiny as the bottom, but I know I'll have to see if just. Buff, buffing it out. But that's going to be a cute refrigerator magnet. And I was thinking what I should have did yesterday. Actually, I could drill a little hole in the top of it with an eye hook and just make it a keychain. How cute would that be? Adorable. That was a lot of fun. Okay, so this box out of my way. I have got to clean this little craft area today. It's driving me insane. Boxes everywhere. But I need them. All my boxes come in handy. okay but we're dry how would you like to see how it came out boom 
I love it. I love how it didn't take away from the drills. Sorry. I'm just trying to make sure you guys see it. See how it didn't take away from the drills at all? When you put it this way, you could still see. Like you could still see the pearls. You can still see these. They're still raised. Love it. I think it turned out freaking awesome. It's going to be, like I said, hung this way. So let's... I'm sorry that you're seeing my face. Hopefully I'm getting this so you guys can actually see because I can't see nothing. Oh my gosh, that just, it's awesome. It turned out so nice. I even like the way the little C turned out. Looks like there's a bunch of like little seaweeds down there. I like the way that I did the texture on the water. It almost looks like, see like right in there. I like how I did that because it makes the water look um, like there's movement. I really, really like this. This came out super cool. Very nice. Very pleased. So yes, I think the brushing on method works a lot better. So that means that I'm going to finish with um, the menu board. I just have a few things left on it and I will finish painting it, finish adding on the drills. I'm going to paint the resin on and then it gets packaged and shipped out. So, so, so happy that I did this. This was just a quick painting just to see if the painting on technique would work for the resin and it did so there's that love it it's going to be a nice addition to my bathroom because everything in my bathroom is um beach related or maybe i might put it outside or maybe somebody might want it who knows anyway um, let's see, is there anything else? Nope, I showed you everything that I'm working on. Showed you the cardigan I'm working on. Like I said, I'm going to do one more row on that and the double um, crochet. And if that doesn't work out, I'm going to go just rip it out and go back to single crochet because for some reason it makes it look like it's getting a little looser on the top than it is on the bottom. And I think that's the reason why. I'm not a crocheter, never did a cardigan or anything like that before, so we'll see how things go. So that's about it for right now. Hopefully we didn't get a chance to go to Home Depot yesterday, so I'm hoping we'll get a chance to go today so I can plant some more flowers. Um, I think that's about it. I have to go to the bank today. The bank. I have to go to the post office today and mail off some things. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> and then I think we have to go to Sam's. And then I want to go to Home Depot. So I think I'll take my phone with me. That way if we go to Home Depot, I can film us going there. I'll try to put like a selfie stick thing in my car so you guys can see me drive my car. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for all your support. Love you guys. You mean the world to me. And there's more things coming in the future. See you guys later. Bye.